Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. If you're new, welcome. So obviously it has been quite some time since I've posted on here, um, but I wanted to give you guys an update and kind of talk about what happened like to my horses and if I'm still riding, where I've been, all that good stuff. So I think the last time I posted on here was um, before I started junior year of high school and I have been graduated for a couple years now. I ended up selling my warm blood when I was in high school. I think I actually made a video like talking about getting ready to sell him, but then I ended up selling Kenny who was my thoroughbred. Um, I sold him my senior year of high school, mainly because I knew I was going to be going to college and I wasn't going to have the time to focus on him and give him the attention that he deserved. During that time, I really wasn't doing a lot of riding. I was focusing more on like my grades and you know everything that comes along with being a senior. So graduation, prom, all of that kind of stuff. He ended up going to a trainer in, I think in Burbank. Um, so close to LA and he's at an equestrian center down there. I actually went and visited him a couple months after I sold him to her and I was able to go see him and it was really bittersweet but he's in a very very nice place. He actually became a lesson horse which is awesome so I'm just glad that he gets to teach other girls how to ride and it just makes me really happy so I'm glad that he went to a good home. I still miss him every day but I know that it was the right thing to do for both of us. I grew up riding, you know, I started riding when I was around 10 years old. So this is something that I've always loved and it seriously is a part of me. I just, I think that, you know, with any sport or any activity, you, you kind of go through phases and, you know, it can be um, really easy to fall out of it, but then get right back into it. But I haven't done any like English riding since, I had Kenny, so since my senior year of high school, and I miss it so much. Like, I, lately I've just been really, really missing it more than usual, and um, I still have my saddle. I kept a lot of my tack just because it's expensive, and I know that one day I do, like, want to have horses again, and I want to get back into it, so um, there was really no point in me selling it. This is kind of, the whole reason why I'm getting back into um, YouTube and I'm back on this account is because I want to get back into riding and I want to work up to owning my own horse again. Riding seriously did help my, my mental health. Um, obviously when I was in high school I didn't have a lot to worry about and I didn't have as much stress as I do now, but it seriously did make me a better person and when I stopped riding, I feel like that's when I kind of started going downhill. And it's just something that brings me joy. It's something that is seriously a part of me and I want that back. I'm starting to make videos again on this channel so that I can document my whole process of getting back to that point that I once was at. Um, and I hope you guys stick around for the journey. There's a lot of things that need to happen before I get to that point, but I just, I want to be able to look back on this in the future and so I just want to start documenting everything now and I thought, you know, why not like start up the channel and start making my videos again because these videos are what I used to love making so much and they were actually on private on my channel for a very long time but I just put all of those videos back on public so if you want to go back and watch my videos from sophomore year of me at the barn with all my horses, you totally can. It's hard for me to go back because I'm like, one, I miss my horses and it just brings up a lot of bittersweet memories. And two, I am just <laughs> a mess. Like I look so different. I had braces. I was a sophomore. So I was like four, no, I was maybe like 15 at the time. I'll be 20 this October. So I've I've grown up a little bit, but um, you know, there's a lot in my life that I'm just so grateful for and my horses are definitely one of those things, even though I don't have them anymore. As far as like what I've been doing since I stopped making videos, obviously I finished high school and I'm currently going to a community college um, and I'm working a lot. I live on my own. Well, I live with my boyfriend, but we don't live at home anymore. So I'm fully supporting myself and 
it's scary and obviously very expensive so adding a horse into that equation is kind of tricky um, but I'm doing some saving and I'm not gonna like buy a horse until I am 100% ready um, but again like I wanted to document me getting up to that point and being able to buy a horse again and like I'm just so excited for that day and for that moment and to bring you guys along. I feel like starting this YouTube channel up again is seriously gonna help me so much during this time and I hope that it helps you guys and I hope that I can give you guys content that you're really really excited to watch and um, I'm just I'm so excited I don't know I've like never been this happy to be filming something ever I do have a second channel that I'm posting on right now it's my vlog channel um, and I've been posting just you know fun videos over there this past week and if you want to see what I'm doing day to day um, in my life uh, you can definitely go check that out that is more like just normal content non horse related content so if you're interested in that definitely head over there I will link it in the description um, but yeah subscribe on that channel too and we can just be best friends if you've made it this far thank you for watching I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel like the video comment down below so we can chat and I will see you guys in my next video bye